Instant gratification. Ciao friends, it's Beth with Thimblehooks. And today I'm going to show you what I consider the easiest baby booty in the world. This is really simple. It works up pretty fast and it's just basic, basic stitch knowledge. So even for a beginner, you can come up with almost instant gratification. This will be done in an hour or two. Just cute, itty bitty about three and a half inches so I would consider this for uh, like a newborn baby like an infant baby not a toddler baby now just so that you'll be able to see all the stitches that I'm doing I'm not going to use this yarn I am going to use this is Karen Simply Soft White this is Karen Simply Soft Soft Pink and this is Karen Simply Soft Soft Green so you'll be able to see all the different layers and all the stitches that I'm doing so the first thing you do for any of my baby booties is you make two baby booty soles. Two of these little guys. I have a video out for the baby booty soles already because that's how you're going to start every one of my booties. So that has its own video so you can get practice on making these before you jump into anything else. I'm not going to make the baby booty soles in the front of every one of my videos just because it will just take too much time. So you can reference back to that one, but you make two. Always going to start with two. This side just a little bit shinier it seems. The stitches just look a little bit cleaner. So this is the wrong side. You take the wrong sides and you sandwich them together. And I'm going to take a four millimeter hook. I know that Karen is supposed to use a five, but we're going to make nice tight stitches so that little tootsies stay warm. That's why I'm using a four. So they won't have a lot of big gaps. So what we're going to do is we have these sandwiched together. Start at the back of the heel. Back here. Anywhere. Because we'll, we'll uh, get it all centered in a little while. Right now it doesn't matter exactly where you start. As long as you go through this stitch and go through the back one. So you have to make sure that you go through both layers. And now we're going to bring him in. Now we're going to do slip stitches all the way around. End up being 44 slip stitches. So go through both layers. Pull him through and slip stitch. And you will see that there is no green overlapping on the outside. We don't want that to show. So again, we're just going to slip stitch all the way around. This part takes a little bit of finesse because you want to make sure that you get through both layers and you don't split any of your stitches because it's a little tricky sometimes. So there we go. This just takes a minute because it's nice tiny little booty. Now when we go into the last stitch right here, we're going to meet up with the first stitch that you did. So there you go. You can see, back here we can see the green stitches all the way around, just on the bottom, not on the edges. You can see the two layers. There's a white and there's the pink. Just snip him off and pull it through. Turn it around and we're going to have these two meet up. Go from the back side to the front and bring that little tail that you just cut, just bring him through to the back so he's on the bottom. We'll tuck him away later. I'm going to change off to a three millimeter. Use a three or a three and a half. All right. So now we are going to, we're going to go into this last stitch. I just did. Attach him and do a single crochet. We're going to mark that first stitch just because it oh, makes everything just a little bit easier, makes it a little bit faster. 
you know what your first stitch was, especially if you're a beginner and you think that maybe that little that little guy right there was your first stitch, is now your first stitch. This is your first stitch. We just marked him so we can find him when we come around. So we're going to do a single crochet in every one of these green slip stitches all the way around should be 44. I'll meet you back at the stitch marker in just a moment. This one gets a little bit tricky just because you want to get under here without snagging or splitting anything. You just want to go right under there and make sure you don't catch any of the pink. Only goes in between the pink and the green. And there's my last one, 44. There you go, there's our very first round. Now that one takes the longest amount of time just because I'm trying to be very ginger about going under the slip stitch and not doing any kind of snags at all in any of the the pink booty sole part. I don't want to have that snag, I don't want it to get all have anything but a nice clean line. You can see there's a nice clean line. Alright, so that was our first round, 44 single crochets. Now when we get to the end of the row, look, we just came back to our stitch marker so we know exactly where we need to go. So we're going into that same stitch with the stitch marker and just going to do a slip stitch. And a chain one, so you're moving up to the next round. And I have my clicker. Round one is done. So what we need to do is make three more rounds exactly like this. Three more rounds. So you have four total of 44 single crochets. We're just building up the bottom right here. Just building that up a little bit before we start to make the decreases for the toe. So four rounds total of single crochets. Go back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and do a single crochet and mark him. As marking him just makes everything go a little smoother. Okay, I'm going to do three more rounds. Three more rounds of single crochet with my mint green and I'll meet you back. And 44 so now we're done with the second round, just like we did the first time. We're back here with the stitch that's marked. We're going to slip stitch into it. So we close that round and then chain one so that we're ready for the next round. So I'm going to click that one. All right, so the next thing you do, we already did our chain one, so we're ready to go around again. Take out the marker. And he's going to come right back. So in that same stitch that we just chained into, we're going to do a single crochet and mark him again. Always good to have little tiny things in life that make things go a little faster. All right, again, one more round, 44 around. I'll meet you back at the stitch marker. In the last couple of stitches in this round. I'm going to do my clicker. We're back to the stitch marker. So I'm going to go in with a slip stitch and chain one so we're ready for the next round. See? Starting to look like a little boat like a little tiny shoe. Very close. Alright, so in that first stitch again, this is our last round of building up the, the bottom part right here. So we're going to go into that same stitch that we just slipped stitched into and do a single crochet. I'm going to mark my stitch just because it makes things easier. And I'm going to do one more round of single crochet. So it'll be a total of four. And I'll meet you back at the stitch marker one more time. Alright, this is my last round 
of just single crochet, then we get to start to reduce and it'll start to look like a little booty. And it's going to be, it's amazing how quickly that will happen. That was my last stitch on what I call round five because the slip stitch is counted as round one and four rounds of single crochet. So we are just finished round five. So again, we are going to slip stitch to close that loop, close that round off, and just pull this up a little bit. Now we have a little trick. I'm going to find the approximate front. Since this is an even number, you're not going to be able to find the exact center. There we go. We're going to find the center of the front. So let's just call it this stitch. That looks about right. Just goes by eyeballs. We're going to count back this way toward the stitch marker 22. This is going to help us make sure that our reducing rows that are coming up, the reductions are actually in the front centered instead of, oopsie, off to the side a little bit and it won't look like, it won't look right. It won't uh, be centered and then you'll have your reduces coming over here like this and it will look silly. So we're going to start here and count back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Alright, so this is, row, this is stitch 22 right here. So we are going to, we're just going to move the stitch marker so we don't lose that stitch, we don't have to count it again, just to hold our spot for a second. Now we can go back. Because that stitch needs to be our very first stitch. So now it's marked, we can find it easily. I can take the marker out because we know we're going right here right in here. Single crochet. Just going to move over. What we really were doing was just moving over one. Alright, so there. We're going to start our first of three reducings. First of three. So the first one is single crochet. We did that one already. One single crochet single crochet number two and then the next stitch is single crochet two together which was a, a little tiny reduction so we're going to go like this yarn over pull through yarn over or go through the next one yarn over and pull through we have three loops on our hook and we're going to pull through all three of those just a little bit of a reduction on the back of the heel just a little bit so we had two single crochets and one single crochet two together and then we're going to do eight more single crochets up the side here. One in each of the next eight stitches. One, two, and eight. Now we've worked our way up to the toe. We need it to start looking like this. And be rounded. So we're going to reduce. And we're going to do that with ten double crochet two togethers. So I'll show you the first one here. You yarn over, go through that stitch, pull through. You have three loops on your hook. Go through two. Yarn over again. And in the next stitch, then yarn over, pull through, go through the first two, and then go through all three. Now you've taken those two stitches and turned them into one. We have to do that ten times. So this was the first one. We'll do another one. Through the stitch, yarn over, pull through the first two. Now you have two loops on your hook. I'll do that one more time in the next stitch and pull through two. Now we have three loops on our hook. We're going to go through all three. That was our second one. One more time. Yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two, and there's our third one. We're going to do that through a total of ten. Eight, nine, ten. All right, there's ten. And you can see it's starting to pull it in just a little bit. 
this is symmetrical so we're going to go back down what we did over here for the ending and that will be the next eight stitches each get one single crochet each one one two and eight single crochet two together so we can go in here yarn over pull through and in the next stitch yarn over and pull through now we have three loops on our hook and we're going to go through all three of them so that just took those two little stitches and we'll move them together and the last two stitches are each just a single crochet there we go there's our first round of reduction yay starting to pull in a little bit and starting to look like a little shoe. We have two more rounds of reducing and that's it to make a toe. So now we're right, we did our last stitch so we're going to go into the same stitch that's marked and do the slip stitch and the chain one so we're ready for the next we've got our height for the next round take him out, set him down, and in that same stitch we're going to do a single crochet. And put our marker back. Alright, for the second round we are going to do eight single crochets in a row. This one was the first one, that's why it's marked. So here's number two, number three, and eight and then two half double crochets so there's a half double crochet number one and a half double right there number two okay we're getting to the point where we're going to reduce again we're back at the toe right here so we're going to reduce and since we already made it a little bit smaller last round we don't have to do as many we're going to do six six double crochet two together so we yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and now pull through all three. There's stitch number one. And here's our last one, yarn over, pull through, go through the first two, two loops on your hook, through that one, first two, and now we have three loops on our hook, go through all three. That was number six. So again, sym symmetry. I'm going to do two half double crochets. There's the first one. And in the next stitch, you get a half double crochet as well. Boom. Now our last ones, eight single crochets down the rest of this. And working our way back to that stitch marker. Two, eight. There we go. We'll pull them out here a little bit. Pulled it in a little bit more so it's a little bit more rounded now. Just like a toe. Starting to be like this toe. Rounded them in there a little bit. One more round of reducing. So again we're back to our stitch marker. So in that stitch, just want to slip stitch. Slip stitch and chain one so we move up one row so we're ready for our last row of decrease now as we did before we're going to go into that same stitch with a single crochet and mark it okay there's our first one we need 11 this time so we're going 11 single crochets that was the first one, so we need 10 more. There's single crochet number two, three, 10, and 11. Our last reduction, since we already made this so small, right in here, we're already pulling it in. We have to do this one more time with two double crochet two together. So there's one.
and there's the second one. That's all we need to do on that one for reducing. So 11 more single crochets to go meet us back at the stitch marker. So there's one, two, ten, and eleven. We're back at the stitch marker, so we'll do the same thing again. Into that stitch, slip stitch, and a chain one, so we're ready for the next round. And this is when it gets really, really easy. Now we're just going to go single crochet all the way around to even up these little edges. There's a single crochet. Our first one, we're going to mark it. Again, it's just easier. I think magical stitch markers are just awesome. It just saves time. Now we have what looks like a tiny shoe. All those three rows of reducing did all of that. Alright, so that was our first one. We're going to go all the way around. It'll be 24. We've reduced from 44 stitches down to 24. So that was our first one. We're going to go all the way around with single crochet, so we need 23 more. There's number 2 and 24. There you go. You can see I poof out the toe a little bit because I just smushed it down while I was doing my round. But see, it just cleaned up this edge right here just a little bit those stitches in a little bit. It looks awesome now. All right, now this is the uh, really, really, really easy part. All the rounds from now on are going to be the same, and we don't have to do the chain one anymore. We're just going to work in the round. So this will be our first stitch with no slip stitch chain one. This is just going to be our very first one. Our marked stitch is going to be a single crochet. We're going to move this guy over and mark him so we know where the front is. We don't, so we know which one is the first stitch. Now it's going to be the Suzette stitch, which is one of my favorites. I did a tutorial on this one already. It's really simple. So the first part of a Suzette stitch is a single crochet and then a double crochet in the same stitch. And then we're going to skip a stitch, skip that guy, go over here, it's a single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. And then skip the next stitch, single and a double in the same stitch and then skip the next one. Do that all the way around so you get back to the stitch marker. Alright, so that was the first round of Suzette, which again was a single and a double crochet in the same stitch, and then the next one is a skip, and work right into the one that's marked. Starting on round two of our Suzette. Mark him again, and here's his double crochet, so we completed the first stitch of our Suzette round number two. Right, and this is our last stitch of round eight. Hooray! cute stitch that is. It doesn't look like it would do too much, but it's just interesting enough. Just a cute stitch. Alright, we have one more round to do, and then we are done. One booty down. So again, that was our last stitch. One here to skip. We're going to go and do, just like we have been, a single crochet into this first stitch and move our stitch marker. And our last thing we're going to do is a single crochet all the way around in 
every stitch. Instead of a Suzette, we're doing our single crochets. So that was the first one. It's already marked. There's 24. That was our very last, last one. Easy peasy. The very last thing is we're going to slip stitch into our marked stitch and then finish off. It's so cute. I just love it. Right. Cut. Pull him through. Nice and tight. And tuck that in in a minute. All right now we have these little danglies right here. Super fast and easy. We don't even have to get out a yarn needle to do anything with those. I'm going to use my four again. Just sneak in here in between the two soles and just pull it through. Go back and find the other one. Pull it in. And you don't even have to weave them in. It's always nice when you can find a way to not have to weave in ends. Cut them a little bit shorter and now they've disappeared. Instant gratification. I right, will thank you for stopping by. I appreciate your support. Please subscribe to my channel and thank you for supporting my small business and I hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.